Hey, at the coffee shop, script writing time again. Let's go. Hey, 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 how's it going? Anthony Fro here at Crate Sci-Fi. Got my computer, got my coffee, and I left the um, the coffee shop. Just it was really noisy in there, um, which is not a problem for me. I go down the tunnel, but uh, for the purposes of recording the video, they're blasting music, or whatever. Getting a little side eye because <laughs> doing this in a public setting maybe not the greatest. But what are you gonna do? But yeah, so time to write. I gotta get writing because I, I wanna start doing a new short film and I wanted to talk to you about that. Now, full transparency, the, the reason um, that I do this channel is so that I can make films, right? Even though I'm always doing like blasters and, and spaceships and kit bashing and all that stuff, there are film tutorials as well and probably not as many of, of those. And to be honest, just because I don't get as uh, many uh, subscribers and views from those videos, so I do them occasionally, like I'm about to do now, to sort of kick off a project because, um, you know, if you've been playing along with me, all my, my build projects, all my blasters, costumes, everything I do is typically geared towards a project, and I try to do one to two short films a year. Writing is always, uh, it's the most important thing, and you can't overlook it. And, um, so I'm, I, I just want to take you through my process. Um, I have other videos where I go more in depth, but we're going to kick off a new project. So what I like to do first is, is just deal with, you know, what do I have? I like to keep it practical, keep it real. And if you notice, uh, a few months ago, I built this sci-fi jumpsuit, right? So I know my main character is in that jumpsuit. So in my mind, he's a technician, like a mechanic, like a like a workaday guy, not a captain, not a warrior, right? So that's sort of stewing in my head. And then um, I've been touring in LA. I've come across two other makers that have these sort of soundstage spaces that already have built in or, or sort of on standby sci-fi sets. So to save money and to be practical, I want to work it around those set pieces. So it's typically like, like a deck, like a bridge, and both of them have like a like a medical bay kind of situation. So I'm like, okay, that's the second. So I have um, like a workaday technician, you know, sort of um, in the jumpsuit character. That's our main character. I know it's on a spaceship. It could be a space station, but I think it's probably a ship. So what's going on here is I'm gonna take you through my process of how I kick off a, a script for a short film. I'll, I'll take you through the beginning of the process. I don't want to give away um, sort of all of it because story-wise, technique-wise, I'll give away all of it. But story-wise, because this is something that I'll, I'll be making for the channel. And then, you know, it starts with the script and then I'll start making props and costumes and set pieces as needed and then bring you on some behind the scenes before that. What am I doing right now? Why is this beginning rambling? because I'm procrastinating. That's the first part of any good writing session is procrastinating. If I wasn't talking to you, I'd be on the phone, I'd be Googling, but now it's like time to start. So like I said, I'm gonna take you through sort of my process of how I get a first draft. So let's stop procrastinating and let's get in there. All right, I'm just gonna take you through it, what I do, <laughs> for better or for worse. First thing I do, Encyclopedia Mythica. Myths, fairy tale. I always start there if I don't really have an idea because these stories are, are tried and true, right? So I might, you know, type in the Flying Dutchman. And I'm like, the Flying Dutchman, I kind of know what that is. I've definitely heard of that ghost ship. You know, when pressed, it's like, no, I don't exactly know. So I go to Wikipedia, right? But now it's like, I don't know, I'm not thinking I don't have any ideas, I'm on a trail, right? Trail might go cold, might be fruitful. So in this case, I start looking up Flying Dutchman and I'm like, okay. And then I'm like, ghost ship, yeah, ghost ship. Cause like I said before, I have that costume and I kind of want it to be like a mechanic on a ship, ghost ship, right? Sci-fi, looks like it's gonna be a horror now. So then, start to look at like well what other films and, and then it's like oh right dead man's chest you know davy jones locker all that pirates of the caribbean and so now i'm like 
okay, ghost ship, it's kind of stuck in my head. So I'm starting to think, oh, okay, so maybe a ghost ship appears at a station. My guy goes on there, something happens, right? So I'm like, okay, I know it's a ghost ship. It's uh, this actor who's a mechanic, gonna need another actor or two. And I'm gonna say the ship ends up in the space station and it's like, what the heck is going on? So then we have our drama, right? All right, so now I go into free writing. So first thing, I, you know, I've talked about this in depth in my channel, I'll link below, is the Dan Harmon story circle. To me, this is just perfect for short films. Uh, the monomyth, I've used that before, I've gone over that before, but I just really like this for short films. It really just gets to it and it helps keep you on track to tell a story. So I always go to this. It's broken down into like really eight simple beats. And then this one, you need go search, find, take, return, change. Then I get started with the free writing. So then I take that list and I just say you, right? So I'm like, oh, it's a boring mechanic. All right, he's just going through the motions. Then what does he need? He needs something more out of his life. So go, where does he go? He's, go he's gonna dig deeper into this ship. He's really intrigued by this ghost ship. Search. Okay, well, something's weird about this ship. Let me dig deeper. Um, find. He finds, you know, uh, like I say a lot on this channel with sci-fi fantasy, it's a MacGuffin, it's a thing. It's like, what is this ancient tablet or what is this weird power source that's, you know, <laughs> making me think my life could be better or worse? take so then he takes this object right and then return he goes back to his situation but he's got this new perspective and he's changed it's either for good like wow you know now i'm gonna rule the world or or help my fellow mankind or maybe it's changed like oh now i'm gonna turn into a you know, a vampire werewolf and terrorize, whatever. But now I have a story and I have a direction. And I said that real quick, but you have to realize you're gonna write 20 drafts at least of a script, right? So that's why I always sort of harp on the, the idea that don't get hung up trying to write this thing out of the gate because you're, you're not gonna write it in one draft. So it's more important to just get it on the paper. And then what I do is I call it a free writing session. So I sort of have those points and then I just go into Google Docs or Word Doc and then I just expand on those points that I just went over. And I try to write like, because it's a short film, I try to write like a paragraph for each one. So now I've expanded on that and I have sort of a paragraph for each one. So now I'm gonna start breaking it down to interior, exterior, action, he said, she said, right? So now it becomes interior bridge. This is what it looks like inside that ship. The guy walks on the bridge. This is what he looks like. This is his name. He says this. So then I introduce uh, a soldier who's sort of like a, um, a military police, somebody who goes in advance to, of him. And that person is sort of checking out the situation. And then they digress into like a conversation, right? So they have very opposing views on something. He's old school, she's new school. This way we learn a little bit about him and then we fulfill all those steps. Again, nothing's in stone, but now we have a roadmap, right? So then I'll write that a couple of times just in long form and then I'll copy and paste that into a script format and then that's my first draft, right? Then I'll do readings with that. These days, it's easier. You get a bunch of people on Zoom, start getting feedback, have your one or two people that you share this stuff with that tell you, oh, this is great, or tell you, like, I didn't understand a thing of that. You know, that's it. So now I got my script, and now I can start my film. So I'm just trying to pull back the curtain and demystify this. All right, so hopefully that all made sense. And... Um, you know, to all my subscribers that are just really about the spaceships and the blasters, <laughs> so am I. But this is gonna, you know, so now instead of me making a blaster for some TV show, I'll start to make blasters and sci-fi props from this script, right? So that's, I don't know, for me, that's just more interesting and more engaging. And I get excited about the process, right? So I know for the next couple months, this is what I'm gonna be doing. So, you know, hopefully that was helpful for you to, uh, to either 
motivate you to get started on your own project or if you're just you know somebody who enjoys watching this stuff it gives you a little more insight well <laughs> now i'm procrastinating before i start writing version two as always i hope you found this video useful please like share subscribe leave a comment love to read the comments and be sure to check out the merch shop get your hats shirts buying that really helps the channel and remember I'm just here to help write sci-fi. <laughs>